Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mickey Mania. We're on cartoon number two, The Mad Doctor. And right away we're assaulted by bats, who everybody knows are the worst thing. This is like something out of the Castlevania game, because we got bats and we got skeletons. And these skeletons explode in the bones, and those bones will hurt you, so be careful. You can also just smash them with your marbles and jump into the bone, just like that. I tend to just smash him because, like, I'm an impatient bastard. And these walkie skeletons take three hits to kill, so... Watch out for that. Hopefully you have lots of marbles, because... You know, you, otherwise you're going to have to do a lot of waiting around. Well, not for these walkie skeletons, because you can also just jump on them. BAMF! So the second section of the Mad Doctor has... A rub swinging. A lot of swing in Super Castlevania 4, too, and you also fought lots of bats and skeletons. Dear God, we have entered a Mickey version of Castlevania. This cartoon's actually pretty crazy. With all sorts of skeletons and bats and stuff. Ch check it out sometime. It's public domain, so you can just watch it at your leisure. But I love collecting these marbles, because, well, gotta have all the marbles. I mean, you don't want to lose your marbles, or else you'll go, you'll go mad, kind of like the Mad Doctor. Uh, yeah, he lost all his marbles, and we're picking them up again. That's why he's a Mad Doctor, because he's... Cuckoo! Now, the next segment here, you're going to have a load time to prepare yourself for it, kind of. But other than that, you got to be quick on your feet, because... Oh, Jesus! You fall off these gurneys once, you're dead. It's kind of like a mini turbo tunnel from Battletoads, except not nearly as nasty. Just be quick on your feet. It lasts like five seconds. Then we're back here again. Fighting more skeletons with all the test tubes in the background. I'm just going to jump on you. I'm going to save all these nice marbles I've been getting. Kind of low on hits because, well, your health does not regenerate in between levels, it seems. That's what makes this game a little tricky wicked. You don't just get full health if you take a shitload of damage on a boss. Why, you're going to have to deal with that one hit for the beginning of the next stage until you can find some stars or something. There's some very nasty acid going on here. I really want to get rid of those bats because, well, I don't want to take a hit from a bat accidentally. Now be careful if you're jumping on these skeletons, because you can bounce back onto the ropes and uh, get take a hit from swinging into that skeleton, so be very wary of that. Otherwise, we're pretty much done this segment. Just gotta clear out a few more skeletons, and the exit's just over there. Excellent. Now this elevator is tricky until you know the trick. Tricky until you know the trick. The trick being to stay on the opposite sides of the elevator. That's the best place to dodge these bones. Now occasionally, a skeleton will come up on the top, but just stay in your corner, jump the skull, you'll be fine. I used to take a lot of unnecessary hits here as a child, but not now. Now I know the secret. And the secret is staying in the corner and quivering in fear of these scary old skeletons. And occasionally blasting them with a marble. Now there is a secret here. This is the exit. Because the door falls down, but don't go off. Get back in that elevator! And we're gonna go up one more floor. Now what is the advantage of going up one more floor? Well, we get lots and lots of marbles. And we've got a big old vertical shaft here with a whole bunch of health that'll fill you up nice and full, so... We've even got a free life, and we meet up with our past self, the mad Dr. Mickey, who runs off in fright because this place is honestly very, very scary. He sure didn't stay for long. Alright, final segment of the mad doctor. And it's a bit of a trick. We've got a beaker. We've got poison vile things. 
What we gotta do is we gotta drop this potion stuff into here. You want one drop of every color. That's the special combination you need. Combination for what? Well, you're gonna find out. Don't, don't be impatient. A green there, that should make some yellow, and I think now you're beginning to see what we're trying to do. We make a nice purple concoction and put it on this burner next to this very large padlocked door. And we just sit here and let the thing sort of heat up. Heat it just to a boil. This stuff is very volatile. And it'll blow the door up. And now it's time for our second boss. The Mad Doctor himself. Who plans to cut Pluto up and made him with a duck or some crazy experimenty shit. We can't have that! So beat him with marbles and make him throw these potions every which way. He's got about 500 exploding potions on his person, but they give you so much health. I just usually tank this guy. Just smash the heck out of him. Six or seven marbles are due, and you've done it. We have saved our faithful dog, Pluto, from becoming some sort of science experiment. And that's the last boss you're ever going to see until the final boss. Joyful, huh? Join us next time when we go moose hunting. Till then.